Our story today is called A Rock Can Be, and it is written by Lori Purdy Salas. A rock is a rock. It's sand, pebble, stone. Each rock tells a story, a tale all its own. A rock can be a tall mountain, park fountain, dinosaur bone, stepping stone, volcano flower, night glower, lake skimmer, building trimmer, hopscotch marker, fire sparker. A rock is a rock, our earth in your hand, our world's full of rocks, some simple, some grand. A rock can be seaside home, crusty dome, desert dune, harvest moon, food grinder, path winder, harbor protector, land connector, sparkling ring, eagle wing, book proper, sheep stopper. A rock is a rock, part of cliff, road, or sea. Now go and discover what else it can be. Rocks are all around us. You probably see rocks lying on the ground every single day. But they don't just lie around. Rocks have lots of important jobs to do. We use rocks for their beauty and their hardness. And sometimes we just like to have fun with them. How do you use rocks? Tall mountain, Earth's outer layer or crust is made of about 12 massive plates of rock. These plates move around very slowly and sometimes bump into one another. When this happens, the rock may gradually crumple and build toward the sky. That makes a mountain. Park fountain. Some parks have fancy stone fountains with water flowing, dancing, or bubbling. People often throw pennies into fountains and make a wish. Dinosaur bone. When an animal dies, if conditions are exactly right, it might become a fossil. If that happens, the animal's bones and teeth very slowly turn into stone. Dinosaurs left behind many bones that became fossils. Copies of these fossils are used to make the dinosaur skeletons in museums. Stepping stone, hard flat rocks like slate and flagstone make great paths to follow. Volcano flower, deep inside earth, it's very hot, hot enough to melt rock. Sometimes molten rock flows up inside a volcano. Then it erupts as a glowing, burning hot mixture called lava. When the lava cools off, it hardens into rock. Night glower. Some rocks are phosphorescent. That means they glow in the dark. These rocks and minerals absorb energy from light quickly. Then they release it very slowly. After sundown, you can see them shimmer in the dark. You can see some of those at Morrill Hall here in Lincoln. Lake skimmer. Have you ever skipped a stone across a lake? A flat round stone works best. If you fling it at just the right angle, it might bounce over the surface of the water. The world record is more than 50 skips. Building trimmer. Lots of buildings have special details made from carved stone. It might be fancy trimmer on doors or windows, or it might even be gargoyles guarding the roof. Hopscotch marker. Hopscotch is a game that really rocks. You choose chalk, which is a soft kind of rock, to draw a hopscotch board on the pavement. On each turn, you toss a pebble into one of the sections of your board and hop through the other sections without landing on any of the dividing lines. Fire sparker. Flint is a glassy kind of rock. When flint strikes certain metals, sparks sometimes fly. Long before matches were invented, people scraped flint against steel or iron to start fires. Seaside home. Not all birds build nests with twigs and grass. Burrowing parrots tunnel out nests in cliffs by the ocean. One colony of more than 35,000 pairs of parrots stretches over five miles or eight kilometers of cliffs in Argentina, a country in South America. So now you know a whole lot about different kinds of rocks. I collect some rocks. Do you collect rocks? Is there anything else that you like to use rocks for? Thank you so much for joining me today.